Hey friends, good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Heather. Today I'm excited to be sharing the Christmas Carol book tag with you. I was tagged by the lovely, lovely friend of mine, Lydia from Vintage Nectarines. So I hope that you will go check her out. And this was found by our friend Nina from Wrestling With Disney. And so many of my wonderful friends have done this already. So I'm not gonna be personally tagging anyone today because it is so close to Christmas. But I say, if you wanna film it, go ahead and film it. I would love to see your answers. I mean, Christmas doesn't have to end on Christmas day. You can have Christmas all year if you want. So at any point in time, you are stumbling across this video and you wanna film it, film it. Just let me know you did because I would love to come and check it out. This has eight prompts to it. And then the ninth prompt is to tag people. So I technically will not be doing that, but if you need to be tagged, then tag you. Yes, you watching, you're tagged officially. This tag was originally created by Lauren Wade and I will have her information linked below. And I will try to put everyone who has done this that I know has done it um, in the description as well. So you can check up on all of the bookish fun and see what everyone has said. It's so funny because as I'm watching this for the very first time, I'm thinking, oh, I would probably give this for my answer. And almost, and everybody else is kind of doing the same thing. So I'm like, oh, I don't want to give the same answers. So I'm going to try really hard not to do that. I did not bring any physical books in here with me today um, because a lot of these I don't have. And I will just pop up a picture. I'll try to make it cute and fancy. We'll see how it works in editing. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, and if you have not yet subscribed, please take a second to do that before you leave today. It helps me out. And of course, who doesn't want more YouTube friends? So anyway, let's go ahead and get started with prompt number one. And that is The Ghost of Christmas Past, a book that was a childhood favorite. Okay, so this, I think this is a banned book now because it does have some like teen sexuality, puberty, and some religious uh, tones to it. Um, and I wanna say, I think this is banned now, although I don't understand. So the book was written in 1970 and it is a Judy Bloom book called, Are You There God? It's Me, Margaret. I think I read this in sixth grade going into middle school or maybe like smack dab in the middle of middle school, um, but it's about Margaret. And she is moving from NYC to New Jersey. And like, she's 12 years old. I think she's 12. But it's been many moons since I've read the book. So I can't remember her exact age. Um, but she has a Christian parent and she has a Jewish parent. And I feel like if I remember correctly, a lot of kids her age were fixated on what her religious beliefs were. And so there was that. And then like the child is trying to navigate moving and her body changing. And I just remember kind of relating to that book a little bit uh, with the puberty aspect of it. So um, I would have to read it again to understand why it's being banned. And I'll probably check and see if it truly is banned. I feel like it is. We all go through puberty. It's, it's not a, uh, a private thing, <laughs> but anyway. There were so many books I wanted to use for this, but that was one that just kind of kept coming to my mind. Um, I loved that. Um, of course, I love the Babysitter's Club. Of course, I loved the Boxcar Children. Those answers have already been given. And like I said, I'm trying so hard not to give the same answers as everyone else who I have watched do this. Um, so it was really hard not talking about Babysitter's Club number eight. It was really hard not talking about the Boxcar Children and um i will say though that my parents had subscribed me to the wonderful world of disney uh reading subscription and um i always looked forward to getting those books and when you first get the subscription i think you get backpacks now but when i got it when i was a kid there was um this plastic small little bookend bookshelf type thing so it had mickey on the outside of it and then it had like two little i'm gonna see if i can i would love to see if i can find a picture to include here if i can you're looking at it now but it was really cute um it was like this pale light denim color blue and it had mickey on it and it was just like this little bookend bookshelf thing you could put them in there of course my collection outgrew that very quickly uh because i had a lot of them 
Uh, that did get ruined in storage. I don't understand how some of my books got ruined and some didn't. I guess placement of where they were in the storage unit when it flooded. But I don't have the stand, but I have a significant amount of the books, which I passed on to Michaela. So I'm glad I have the books. Prompt number two, The Ghost of Christmas Present. A recent book that you think will become an all-time favorite of yours. That's really hard to say because a lot of my books have been a miss lately. But one that I did read last year that I really did like, and the story and the plot of that really stuck with me, that I would read it again because I did not see the end coming. And that was The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. Um, her writing can drag out a little bit. I'm gonna tell you what this book was phenomenal. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. Um, it's probably old news to everyone, but I truly, truly did love that book. And um, this girl answers an ad to be a nanny for some children. One of the children dies and she goes to jail slash prison for the murder of this child. And the beginning of this book starts off um, is letters to an attorney that she wants to take her case. Um, so it is a great book. I am not gonna part with mine. So not only do I love it, but it's also a library book. So it's got that crinkly outside cover on it. It's great, I love it. So I'm not ever gonna part with that one. Um, but I highly recommend that one. So it was like probably my favorite one that I read last year. Number three, The Ghost of Christmas Yet to Come, a book coming out next year that you're most excited about. And that would be The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. She is the author of The Sundown Motel. The main character is a true crime blogger who is interviewing a woman who is acquitted for um, two cold cases. So, um, and then I think it said something about she gets more than she bargained for by interviewing her. So I'm really intrigued by that. I hope that it does not steer me wrong because I had a lot of books really let me down last year. So we're hoping that 2022 does a much better job. Prompt to number four, Bah Humbug, a book that everyone else loves, but you can't stand. I don't really like to be harsh, but I, was not a huge fan of Charlene Harris's Sookie Stackhouse books, the True Blood series. Um, and I think that they were lengthy and I honestly liked the TV series better. That is not my cup of tea anymore. I do not watch that kind of stuff, um, but I loved it at the time. And I think that I loved the portrayal of the characters and the way it was kind of condensed down. Um, I love the differences on the show better than the book. That's how much I disliked the books. Just really sorry if you liked them. I know they were really, really popular and I think that she's a great author. I just, I think that those felt really flat compared to the TV series. Don't know why I'm looking at the TV because it's not on over there, so. Number five, Bob Cratchit, an old dependable that you always recommend. Well, <laughs> This was really hard for me because like, here we are knocking on Christmas's door and I'm like, what books, what books can I use for this? But I'm going to mention two of these. One I have talked about so very much this past year and that was Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. I know, I know guys, you're probably tired of hearing that as an answer, but I loved that book. Honestly, I have read all of them except Final Girls. I haven't read that one. All of the other books he has read read all of the other books he has written pale in comparison to this book it is my favorite i love it he actually has another book coming out this coming year and i don't know i don't know how i feel about it i think i'm going to borrow it from the library first because whew, that last one let me down so bad i actually could have used that for the um the ball humbug prompt I don't know what I was thinking. I could have used that. Um, so anyway, Lock Every Door by Riley Sager and also the series by Terry Blackstock. Um, the first book is If I Run um, and then you have If I Stay and If I'm Found, I think. Yes, those are the books. Um, that trilogy was amazing and I highly recommend that to anyone. That is a series I would reread. She is a Christian-based author who also writes uh, crime and mystery thrillery kind of books. Um, 
or at least that series is and I like true crime kind of stuff I love suspenseful things and so that was phenomenal a lady at my church had read that and um, she knew what kind of genre of books that I like to read and she recommended that and I was hooked so I immediately gave her her book back and I got the other two from the library I had all of them finished within like five or six days uh, I just I couldn't help it I was just like going through them so quickly and I loved I think I've said it before I loved how they um, incorporated God into that and prayer and that kind of thing that we can't live without that so those are the ones that I would recommend again and again. Number six, Tiny Tim, a underhyped book you think deserves more love. And this is probably going to come as a shock because I do not like Mulan. I will never watch it. It's just, I don't care about the live action. I don't like the animated version. Reflection by Elizabeth Lim was phenomenal. She wrote so well. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm still stunned that I even loved it, but I did and I would highly recommend it. Number seven, today, why it's Christmas day. What's a book that always gets you in the mood for Christmas and it can't be a Christmas Carol. And it wasn't gonna be, I wasn't gonna pick it. So for me, that is a Charlie Brown Christmas. The show, the book, I don't care. There's something so magical right after Thanksgiving, watching, Charlie Brown Christmas. That is a wonderful tradition. And there's just something so wholesome about it that really gets me in the mood for Christmas. Um, and I love just the soundtrack, honestly. Uh, playing the soundtrack while reading the book to her at night is just so joyful and I really do love it. I know that's probably not what y'all were expecting and I know it's a children's book, but I'm a child at heart too. And that is my pick, so. I really like it. Um, I don't know. There's just something nostalgic about it. You can't go wrong with Charlie Brown or Snoopy at Christmas time. And for me, that's just like that little mark of the holiday season and Christmas season. So. Number eight, The Muppets Christmas Carol, your favorite film adaptation of a book. First of all, if we're talking specifically about Christmas Carol, hands down, my favorite is a Mickey's Christmas Carol. It always will be. I'm very, very sorry, <laughs> but it is my favorite. I love to watch it. I will watch it by myself. I will watch it with Michaela, and we honestly will watch that all year long. But then I have another one as well, and that is Misery by Stephen King. Kathy Bates is a crazy person. <laughs> I love the way that she portrayed her character, and I know that's probably like so crazy to hear right now, um, but everyone took my good answers, so. I had to think outside the box and no one picked this one so um this is actually one of my mom's favorite movies as well uh we used to be really big into um, the horror genre i started reading stephen king going in the middle school i don't know what my parents were thinking like why did they, why did they let me buy those books why did they not check them out first to see if it was okay uh, they didn't care at the time i guess that would be the quickest answer. Um, but my mom truly, truly did love Misery. And um, that book was crazy. But Kathy Bates did do a phenomenal job as her character. So all in all, I think that I'm pretty confident with this answer. And uh, I'm okay that I chose it. This is such a fun book tag. And like I said, number nine is to tag someone. It wasn't an actual prompt. So if you want to do this, please go ahead and do it. I honestly would like to see Emma from Emma and John. You're welcome to do this, but I know that you guys are probably not even in the filming mood. Uh, but if you ever decide in January that you want to tackle this, then please go ahead and do that. Um, otherwise, anyone else who would like to do it, please feel free. Make sure you tag me to let me know. And I think that is going to do it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a blessed Christmas and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!